We will take you now to a CBS 11 News exclusive. Tonight, you will hear from the North Richland Hills woman at the center of a scam that captured worldwide attention. Police say a Texas woman was scammed out of $100,000 after she fell in love with someone pretending to be entertainer Bruno Mars. Cybercrimes prosecutors say he befriended her on Instagram, convinced her that he was the famous entertainer and that he needed help with his touring expenses. For the first time, she is speaking out about the money and the men behind this scheme. She agreed to the interview as long as we don't identify her. So for this story, we're just going to call her Jane. She's concerned about her safety and doesn't want to become a victim again. Jane says she was adjusting to a new life in 2017. Her husband of 25 years had passed away. She moved into a new home, bought a new phone, and joined social media. I thought, well, they are my friends, right? She communicated with friends and strangers. One man came on strong right away. The first thing that they sent to me was, uh, I want to marry you. And they sent Bruno Bars pictures. To me. The profile had the singer's name and photos, so Jane believed it was the Bruno Mars just looking for someone to talk to. They spent weeks trading messages. That's the first thing they do is they try to be your friend um, and get to know you, get to be comfortable with you. Bruno said he was in a bind. He needed $5,000 right away to pay for rental cars. When she didn't immediately say no, he asked for more. It went from five to ten to, to then, we, then we start getting bigger. Okay. Jane sent a cashier's check for ten thousand dollars, but Bruno said he needed more help, more money for his tour. The next thing I knew, I was going to the bank and I was cashing out all my bonds. She handed over another cashier's check, this time for ninety thousand. Bruno said he was sending her something. An engagement ring. It arrived in a priority envelope from a Houston address with Mars's name. It wasn't like we were in love, like, like love, love. It was more like I was in love with his talent. He asked to come live with her in North Richland Hills. Jane was excited. She spent more money buying musical equipment and making room for the entire band. I set up a studio in my garage. I, I bought some instruments for him. The band was going to stay here. Um, I put some bunk beds up for him. Then another text message emergency. Mars's plane had been detained in Washington, D.C. He was in police custody until he could pay fees to the airport and the pilots. An outrageous story we know, but she believed it. They were constantly showing me pictures of, of them in jail, uh, pictures of Bruno Mars in jail. It seems a lot like they're playing to your emotions. I mean, how, what were you feeling during all of this? That they needed my help because I, I'm a help. I help people. That's all I, I know to do. I, I've, I've always given from my heart. Jane says the relationship consumed her life. She was up all night answering messages, spending her days buying cashier's checks and withdrawing cash around town. She collected another $50,000. That's when the scammers became even bolder. Bruno had someone come here to get that money so they could get him out of jail. It had to be quickly, of course. The security guard needed the money right now. Everything was the emergency. A man appeared at her front door and took the money for Mars's release. The fake Bruno said he wanted to fly to Texas right away, but he needed $5,000 for jet fuel. After months of giving and giving and giving, Jane finally realized she'd been duped. Now they threatened to poison and kill me if I didn't give them the money. That's the way it got near the end. It doesn't get any better. As you start giving to these people, they swap more and more and more. She contacted police who traced the cashier's checks to two Nigerian citizens in Houston. Both are charged with money laundering. It's believed the mastermind, the Mars imposter, is overseas. I'm so ashamed that this happened to me. I'm so sorry that I helped this person even though I thought he was a famous person. But even now, Jane says, she's still a fan of the real Bruno Mars. If he got on Instagram and said, hey, I need some help, <laughs> I'd help him out. Now, Jane couldn't really explain to us why she didn't tell anyone what was happening sooner. She just bought in and let herself believe. And this, I know, it's an extreme example, but the FBI says romance scams are on the rise. In 2020, more than 23,000 victims reported more than $605 million in losses because of romance scams. Compare that to 2015 when there were around just over 12,000 victims and $203 million in losses.